guys what's up welcome back to my channel welcome to today's video so I've been wanting to film a video like this for a while and today I was just like oh I can actually film a video today I have nothing going on so here we are I'm going to be discussing okay let me just backtrack quick so I don't have a lot of like luxury like purses and designer things and this and that and whatever I don't have a lot of them I do have I have three and they're all from Louis Vuitton. So I wanted to do a video on the three products that I have and if I would recommend them to you guys, if I personally think they're worth it, and so on and so forth. So if you guys are interested to see, then keep watching. Let me first show you the three items that I have from Louis Vuitton. So starting off with the biggest one is my Alma BB purse that I actually got for Christmas uh, two years ago. I did a whole like what's in my bag and video on this. So. Here's that. Then I have my Louis Vuitton Zippy coin purse that I got about two years ago as well, like right after I got the bag. And then my newest addition is this little guy right here. This is, I actually don't know what this is called. I will link it, I will have it down below. But it's like a keychain, like wallet type situation that we got going on. So yeah, so I'm going to discuss all three of these products and what I like about them, what I don't like about them, and do I recommend them to you. So let's start with the purse. So first of all, I am in love with this purse. I think this purse is so cute. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. It even has this strap, and if you really, really have to, from time to time I do, you can even make it into a crossbody. Let me show you if need be. You can't really even tell. But yeah, you can make it into a crossbody if need be. But most of the time I do wear it like this, like on my wrist, like this. And let me tell you why. Because you see how this is wide? So it goes like narrow to really, really wide. This is so annoying. The shape of this bag when it's on your shoulder, it flips and it flops and it flips and it flops. And when you're walking, it's like flipping and flopping as you walk, like on your waist, and you feel like it's just kind of uncomfortable, especially if like, if you're like going to the city, or you're in, let's say you're living in Manhattan, and you're having a day in the city, and you're walking around, this bag is beautiful, like it's a beautiful bag, it looks beautiful with any outfit, like I said, you can dress it up, dress it down, or whatever, but to walk around with it all day long gets kind of annoying, just because like I said, of the wideness of this bag, because it flips and it flops, and it flips and it flops. And it can be kind of annoying, but for this little bag, now I feel like this bag is super like little in my opinion, and I think like aside from it flipping and flopping around and being super annoying to wear, I am in love with this bag. I would not give this bag up for anything. I really genuinely love this bag. It holds a special place in my heart um, just because like my boyfriend got it for me two years ago for Christmas. He knew I really, really wanted it and he got it for me. So yeah, let me just show you what the inside looks like. So this is what it looks like. I don't have anything in here really besides like a tampon, a chapstick, a wrapper, and like a cloth to clean my glasses. But that's really all I have in here. But you can fit a lot of stuff in here. Like don't get me wrong, you can fit, like I can fit my wallet, I can fit my keys. Let me get them in. And then I can even fit my phone. I have the excess max. And then I could still, if I organize it, like, right, like, see, I have everything kind of, like, standing. I can fit a lot more stuff in here. I could fit, like, a, maybe, like, a mini makeup bag in here. I could definitely fit. But, no, you can for sure fit a lot of stuff in there. The only thing is, since this is a super wide, not super wide, but since the bottom is more wide, like, in this angle, like, this side of it is more wide, when you try to get stuff out, it can be kind of annoying because the top is narrow, if that makes sense. So getting stuff in and out of the bag can be annoying, but aside from that, I genuinely love this bag. Like, I don't use it every single day just because um, I do have a different crossbody that's like not a luxury brand or anything that I do just throw like throw on really quick when I'm just running out the door, or I will just take my keys since it has this little thing. Um, but I do love this bag. This bag is beautiful. They do make a bigger one with like this exact shape and like style, but bigger. I don't like the bigger one. Like I don't like this shape bigger. I like this size. This is the small size that comes in this size and then a bigger size. But this is for sure my favorite size in this bag. Like I said, I do really like this bag. There are some pros and cons, but I think the way 
Like just the appearance of the bag really outweighs all the cons in my opinion. I genuinely love this bag with all my heart, but I don't recommend like if you're going to be walking or like shopping or doing anything where you're going to be doing a lot of walking that this bag is the right bag. If you're going to like a fancy dinner or you're going somewhere fancy like a party or whatever, this bag for sure can definitely hold up for the occasion, but walking around with it, especially if you have shopping bags in your hand, it's really freaking frustrating. But other than that, I do love that bag. Um, if you don't care about carrying it all the time, like on your thing, or if you don't care about it flipping and flopping when you walk, then I definitely recommend this bag. If you're somebody that likes to be comfortable with bags and you don't like feeling uncomfortable, I wouldn't necessarily recommend this bag to you. Um, just because of that, but like I said, the appearance of the bag, the look of the bag outweighs all of the negative things to me. I love this bag so, so much. Um, the wear and tear on this bag, I think I have one little thing. Yeah, on this side, I don't know what I nicked it on, but I'll show you on the camera. You can see like right here, it's like the leather is like ripped. Um, I think I may have like thrown it in my car or something or may have got caught on something. But it hasn't ripped off and that's been ripped for like a year. I did something to it. I don't know what I did, but it did rip on the bottom. But other than that, I'm really, really rough with this bag. And this leather is so, so strong. I have no scratches. I just have like a stain from, I guess, like I spilled like a drink or something. It looks like ice cream. Probably is. But, um, yeah, no, I don't have any scratches or anything like severe on this bag besides that one little nick on this side and i like this bag oh my hair it's so annoying i like it because it has feet so when you put it down can you hear that like the, the feet hit the like the ground not like the actual bag so when you put it down the feet kind of elevate it a little bit so that if you do happen to put it on the floor that it won't like stain the actual bottom of the bag which is cool and also the one thing i do like about this bag the bottom is sturdy so if you have a lot of stuff in here the bag isn't going to fall. I used to have the speedy and I hated the speedy because of that because no matter what you put in the bag you could put like a feather and literally the bag would just fall and it would totally like take away from the shape of the bag and I had to get rid of it because of that. So moving on so the next item is the Louis Vuitton zippy coin purse. Like I said I have had this for two years. I got it my boyfriend gave it to me as a gift for our third yeah third year anniversary because he got me this for christmas and then for our anniversary he got me this so this is what it looks like i don't have all my cards in here right now because i have it in my keychain at the moment but i'll show you what the inside looks like so you kind of have like an idea so you have um like a slot in the middle right here where you can put like your id and anything and then you have card slots on either side and then you of course have space right here so there are some cons with this wallet. I specifically got this wallet because of this bag. So it fits in here perfectly. It doesn't take up a lot of space. Like it's perfect and it matched my bag. So that's really one of the reasons why I got it. And I did like it. I actually do still love it. But you cannot fit a lot of cards in here. Like I cannot put cash in here. Like if I have all my cards and my ID and like any receipts, I, you can't fit coin really. You can't fit a lot of other things in here. So Right now, I don't have all, I actually do have like 80% of my cards in here, and it closes really, really good. But if I fit every single thing in here, I won't be able to zipper it past here. And I'm not even being exaggerating. Sometimes, like when I used to carry this all the time, I used to just leave it open and keep it in my bag because a lot of the time it'd be inconvenient to close it because of how tight it would be due to the fact that it is such a small wallet and I would kind of like put cash and coin and all my cards and my ID and everything in here and that would really pack the wallet. Like look, let me show you. So now I packed everything in here, right? So now watch me zipper it. See how it's like a little bit, see how when I get to right here it's like, yeah, I can't zipper it. I can but it's like squeezing the wallet. You can tell like on the sides that it's really, really squeezing the wallet and this is packed so freaking tight. I always get nervous and I'm gonna break the zipper if I pack it too tight, so that's why I got the um, little coin purse I'll talk about in a second. But yeah, so if you're somebody like me that has like a lot of cards and stuff like that, because I have like um, my insurance cards, I have my credit cards, I have my Metro cards, I have my um, license, I have my PBA cards, I have like just, I have some receipts in here, some discount cards and like, Sometimes I need all this, you know what I mean? But sometimes like every day I don't, that's why I don't carry this every day. 
But yeah, so if you don't have a lot of stuff, then this would for sure be worth it to you. But like I said, if you're somebody like me that has a lot of like cards in their wallet, this really wouldn't benefit you. Like if I'm going on vacation, I'll probably clear this out and only take a few cards that I need and then put them in here and take it with me. But for every day, I don't use it anymore. I keep it in my work bag just in case of an emergency and I need something that's in this card, I mean in this wallet while I'm at work or whatever. I will just keep it in my work bag and that way I know where it is at all times too. But every day, like on my days off and stuff, I do not really carry this like at all. Moving on to this guy right here. I have it on my keys. I have my keys and then I have like a keychain and then my little cute dinosaur and then I have this. So I had been wanting it for, I really didn't want it for that long before I bought it. Like I saw it and then I was like, I always knew that they had it, but since I just got a new car and like I actually have like, this sounds so stupid, but I have like a a more attractive key like my old key was like all chewed up and like just destroyed so now that I have like a nicer car key I was like let me start looking into keychains and what I can get and stuff like that so I had seen this a million times and I went on the website and I was like oh maybe I want it maybe I don't and then I happened to be in Manhattan with my friend Michelle when she was here and I was like well let me just go look at it and I wound up just buying and I actually wanted the monogram one but they didn't have that one so I was like screw it I want it now so I got this one which I think it's cool because I have like the brown one the dummy and now I have like the white one which is cool but whatever so I really really love this thing now let me explain to you why this is like super convenient for me one of my favorite things about it so I'm driving right I have my key in and I'm driving I'm on a drive through okay I no longer have to reach into my purse to grab my wallet and grab my card. As the car, as the key is in the ignition and I'm waiting at the drive-thru, I can just unzip the little side of this, okay? Just like this, and I can reach in and grab whatever card I need and I can leave it unzipped and then when they hand me back my card, I can just pop my card back in here and then zip it up and then we're good. Before that, when I would ever go through a drive-thru, like I go through Dunkin' Donuts drive-thru a lot for coffee and then if I'm really in a rush, I'll go through like a fast food drive-thru um, but in those situations, I used to just like kind of reach for my wallet and like be driving and grab my car and then just kind of throw my card and my wallet on the seat next to me when I was done. Now, this is so much more convenient because I just put, keep all my main cards in here. My main credit card, my main debit card, my license and everything is in here. And then I just take it out and put it away. Now, this is a little bit more bulkier than I would like it to be on my keys, but um, it only makes sense because it is supposed to hold cards, so it would only make sense that it is a bulkier keychain, but I honestly don't mind it because I can hold my keys like this from the actual key ring from the Louis Vuitton uh, little thing and be totally, like, totally okay. I do like this. Um, my boyfriend said he used to have one just like this when he was younger and that you weren't able to fit a lot, but I can honestly fit a lot of stuff in here. Like, you guys can see, like, I have, let me see six cards in here right at the moment one i accidentally just put in just now by accident but i have six cards in here and i could still probably fit like two to three like you guys can see for yourselves like there is still a lot of space left in this um i definitely think if you're somebody that wants to splurge but doesn't want to spend like over like a thousand for a purse or spend 600 for a wallet or whatever the case is, but you do still want a luxury or like a Louis Vuitton item, I definitely would recommend this for sure. This is only $200 and I know only $200 sounds insane for a keychain, but like I said, for the bag and for the wallet, the leather on the Louis Vuitton items is so incredibly just like good and strong that I feel like I am so I was so rough with this rougher with this than I ever was with my purse and I used to just throw it on the side and do whatever I wanted to do with it and like it has no scratches it has no wear and tear it really has no dings or anything and anything that does get like dinged up like let's say I get like a little scratch I can just go like that lick my finger go like that and then it's gone so I definitely do think that they do, um, they are more of an investment. Like me, I have like, um, I have like a little messenger bag that I bought for like 10 bucks like a few months ago. And like that, I'm really, really rough with that because I'm like, oh, this was like 10 bucks, like who even cares? 
but like these are more of like investments if that makes sense like if you're gonna get something from Louis Vuitton you're not only getting like a luxury item and you're spending a, like a ton of money but you're investing in something like it's something that's gonna last you a long time as long as you take care of it you know like I said I am pretty pretty rough with my stuff like with my purse and with my wallet and I really don't have any issues besides that one little ding on my uh, purse but I've had this for um, about a little over a month now and when I'm at work dude I literally just I throw my keys in my bag when I get to work and they're literally they, somehow they always wind up at the bottom of my bag when it's time for me to go so I'm literally like digging for them and for whatever reason I'll always find this first because obviously this is the bigger thing and I'll always just pull it like that and then my keys will come out so like I said I'm super super rough with my stuff um but if you are looking out of the three of these, if you're somebody that's on a budget and you're looking to get your first Louis Vuitton thing or you really just want like a cute, like a gift to yourself or whatever the case is, or a gift for somebody for Christmas, whatever, um, I would definitely recommend this for sure. This is the most convenient thing that I could have invested in, seriously, because this is a great wallet and it's a beautiful wallet, do not get me wrong. But it's annoying if you don't know where your cards are because and let's say I put like my main credit card all the way in the back. If I don't remember that I put it in the back, it takes me forever to go through my slots and like to peel them apart and to like look for it. So that was the only inconvenient thing with this wallet aside from the fact that you really can't fit cash in here. And, and, and I have put cash in this multiple times and I've been able to zipper it and it's been totally, totally okay. So in order. I would recommend this first for sure. Um, I'm not mad that I got the cream one. Like I said, I really would have preferred the monogram, but I think the cream one adds like a little nice aesthetic to my keys, whatever. Um, I would for sure recommend the keychain first, and then I would recommend this purse, purse second, and then the zippy coin purse last. Just because of the convenience level, if that makes sense. Like, literally, I don't carry a purse on my days off. Like, today, I went to the nail salon, and I just took my keys. And all my cards are in here, so I have my keys, I have my phone, and that was literally it. But on days where, like, I'm not driving, I will take this with me. Like, let's say my boyfriend and I are going out, and he's driving, I will just take my wallet and just throw it in my purse just because I'm not driving, so I don't want to have to take my keys with me. But other than that, um, my favorite purchase out of all of these is for sure this at the moment, like I said, because of the uh, convenience of it. And my second is my purse. I do really, really adore this bag with everything that I have. Um, every time I wear this bag, I get compliments all the freaking time on it. People always like, oh my god, I love your bag, I love your bag. I also like this bag a lot because I feel like I've never seen, besides my best friend Michelle, I've never seen another person have this bag. So I don't think that this bag is a common Louis Vuitton bag like the, like the Speedy or the Neverfull or one of those bags. I definitely don't feel like I see a lot of people with this bag. I've seen just my friend Michelle and I think I saw one other girl one time where I really noticed that she had the same bag. But yeah, so that's another reason why I really, really love that bag. I feel like it's just so soft and you can wear it in the summer, you can wear it in the winter, you can dress it up, dress it down. I really do think it is a very complimenting bag and I do love it very very much this is the zippy coin purse i do love this um i wouldn't recommend it if i could go back in time i would probably have gotten there's like a wallet one that's like the same not a wallet one an envelope one that's a little bit bigger than this that just folds and like opens a little bit better than this i probably would have got that one over the zippy one because it is a little bit bigger than this but this is fine um if i do take all my cards out and i just put a few in here that i need for every day this would work for me but at the moment, the keychain is working a lot better for me. Okay, so those are my thoughts on my three Louis Vuitton items that I own. Um, if you are going to invest in anything Louis Vuitton, do not make the mistake that I did. My first Louis Vuitton purchase ever was the Speedy, which was like the really, really small one. At the time, it was like 900 bucks, And I was like, oh my god, it's under 1000 I can totally, totally get it. Which I bought it for myself. It was like my 22nd birthday gift to me. Um... But I used the bag like three times because it was just not convenient for me at all. I hated like the way you had to hold it and I just hated that the shape of the bag was lost when you would put your stuff in it. I really didn't think that one through when I did wind up selling it a few years later um, because of that. But yeah, definitely make sure that you are in love 
with what you're getting and you're not just getting something just because it's Louis Vuitton, which is what I did. Just make sure that you genuinely love it and that's something that you've had your eye on and you've seen it and you've played with it and you've touched it and you like know that for sure it's what you want. So as always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope you guys did enjoy this video and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe and I will hopefully catch you guys in my next video.